الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم أما بعد حب في الله as a reminder to myself first and foremost and my brothers and sisters in Islam is the importance of the niya the importance of your intention with regards to your ibadah and that means really every everything that you want to draw near to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala with do it for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala remind yourself that this is for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala because a lot of times we get caught up and even in doing our ibadah even our worship and we miss the ikhlas it's not that we do shirk and do it for others or something but sometimes we just get lost in the cause we just begin to do ritual acts for example we just pray we know we have to pray we make salat so we pray but we pray quickly we pray missing some of the uh, or perfecting our salat and so on and so forth and likewise this is the case with all things that we want to do good and we want to receive reward from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in fact even for teaching and for atlub, for seeking knowledge and sharing knowledge and so it's very important even the da'i even the one calling to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that they remember that they are calling to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and not calling to themselves not calling to their group not calling to their clique and not calling to anything other than Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And that takes uh, ikhlas, that takes reminders. That's why we remind each other. But I could have been the tanfal mu'mineen, you know, remind. Because verily, the reminder, uh, it benefits a believer. And that is so true. That is such a powerful ayah that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala commands us to to remember, to, to, to make that remembrance, to remind one another. Wa tawassal bil haqqi wa tawassal bil sabr. That Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala commands us to to remind one another. You know, give da'wah. Make a remind of the haq. Command emir ma'ruf wa na'yina munkar. Wa sabr. And be patient. And exhort one another to patience. So this is, again, so that when we don't become artificial in our ibadah and we don't miss the reward of the ibadah and the maqsad the, the, the intent of the ibadah which is to come closer to Allah which is to worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala the Prophet sallallahu said innama malu bin niyat verily actions are in accordance with their intentions wa innama li kullimriyan manawa and everyone will get that for which he intended and whoever makes hijrah, which is a great act of ibadah, to Allah and His Messenger, then He's made hijrah to Allah and His Messenger. And whoever has made hijrah for some worldly matter, to gain some worldly gain, then they will get that for which they intended. Ruahu Shaykhan. And so Ahabat al shows us the importance of making our ibadah for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and doing what we do for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So I wanted to remind myself because at times we get caught up in doing da'wah and some people that are active in the scene, they get caught up in doing lectures and they get out there in front of the people and sometimes the praise of the people or the displeasure of the people becomes what dictates their actions. Likewise, to be in front of a camera, to be on the microphone, to be out there in the public eye, sometimes we forget the intent is that it should be to call to Allah, come closer to Allah, and to bring others to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And so we need that reminder, and we ask Allah the Almighty to bless us with ikhlas, with thabat ala sunnah, wa sallallahu wa sallam, ala nabiyyana. Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam